Hey everybody, and welcome back to the next part in my dialing in series for our Line 6 Helix. I'm gonna take another request that I had last week, and I think actually a couple times before that, was to do an Aerosmith style uh, preset. Um, specifically, it was walk this way. So I thought, let's do something that's gonna be kind of toys in the attic-ish. Um, so I did a little bit of research. I used walk this way kind of as my reference. And I did a little bit of research and it seems like Joe Perry said, I can't remember what studio they were working in for this, but there was a Fender Twin, an old 50s Fender Twin that they used for that. And as you listen to it, you kind of hear some of that Fender quality and the sound, a kind of a, a nasty high end to it with a, a thumping lows that are really, was really cool. So um, one thing I want to say, it seems like every time I try to do an artist style or ish type of video, I always get comments from somebody who just has to tell me all the reasons why uh, it's not right and it's not this and I'm not claiming that these are exact replicas I, I've said this a million times before different guitar different pickups different room different microphone different microphone placements different speaker different uh, model of the same amp you know in this case a Fender Twin yeah well what year was it what year is the one that that uh, the Line 6 folks modeled in Helix it's impossible to match this stuff you know so this is about getting somewhere in the ballpark and some people are going to listen and go no it doesn't sound right to me that's fine I totally that's that's your business you don't have to use the patch you know if you don't like it so I don't know it's always something always somebody that that has to to, to take it a uh, you know to a place that it wasn't meant to go so I just try to do these so that that some folks folks who do want them and appreciate them uh, can, can use them, you know? So anyways, now that that's out of the way, um, let's dive over to HX Edit. Here's what I did, a kind of a cool tone. Um, I, it looks quite different than normal, right? I have my normal dynamics processor. Uh, this time I went a little bit higher in the peak reduction at six. Uh, an EQ across the board on this, we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, a plate reverb, which is kind of interesting actually, and we'll talk about that too in a second. Um, a delay that I only used on the lead snapshot. There, there's, there's two snapshots here. There's lead and there's rhythm. And the only difference is this little fattening delay. That's all this was for really. 50 milliseconds, 6% feedback and a mix of 35%. Just to almost give a bit of a doubling effect to fatten the lead up a little bit. Not even ne maybe necessary, but it's there if you want it. Um, I used my split crossover, but if you notice, it's down on the second path because I was using two speaker cabinets as well. Um, so let's take a look at what I did here. Uh, we started off with the US Double Norm, which is a Fender Twin model, uh, like what Joe Perry said he used on this. Uh, drive set to 10, bass on 10, mid on 1.8, treble on 10, presence on 10, channel volume 8.5, and master on 10. I don't believe I touched the deeper functions down here. I fed that into the 4038, uh, sorry, the 212 CC12N, which is the stock cabinet that comes up with the Fender Twin. But to get that kind of low end thump I wanted, I used the 4038 ribbon at one inch, which is kind of different because that's gonna give us a lot of bottom end, right? Uh, but I also combined it with the same cabinet with the 57 dynamic with the level pulled back 2 dB to give some of that kind of rattier high end to it, okay? So let me, let me do this. Let's turn everything off. Uh, the split crossover, the reverb, the EQ. I'll just leave the compressor on at the end. Let's just hear what the amp sounds like just with, with those settings we just talked about in those speaker cabinets, okay? <laughs> So it was fine the way it was, There's nothing wrong with that tone, but it was missing some of that kind of cutting high end uh, that, that's such a part of this tone. So what I did to get that is I came in with an EQ at the end or to, to sort of get it closer to that. And I boosted 140 Hertz at a Q of 1.3 up 2.5 dB. I took 910 Hertz at a Q of 1.2 and pulled it back 4 dB. And I went to six kilohertz with a, a fairly wide Q of 0.7 and added four, 5 dB. Low cut down to 40 Hertz because I didn't want to cut some of that nice thuddy low end out. High cut at 12 kilohertz. So without that, it sounded like this. With it, it sounded like this. Okay, 
Now, what I did notice, I found this really cool thing on YouTube where somebody had all of the real isolated tracks from the Walk This Way uh, session. They had isolated drums, isolated bass, isolated vocal. I was actually able to take that, create my own mix without any of the original guitars, and I'm doing a second video that will be released when this one is of Walk This Way. And what you hear in that is all these guitar sounds here. I did uh, two rhythm guitars panned left and right, then the leads, and then that little... Uh you know, thing in the uh, in the verse as well. So it's pretty cool. But what I did here is there's quite a bit of reverb on this. So I went in with a plate reverb uh, with a decay of 4.3, high cut up to 9.2 kilohertz, and a mix of 23%, which sounded like this. Okay, without it, with it. A little more reverb than I would have used, but it's actually on that recording. So it sounded pretty cool, I thought. Now I was still missing some of that high-end kind of radius, and that's where I came in with the split crossover, set at 650 hertz, and I didn't touch anything below those frequencies, but everything above I boosted by 5 dB. So without the split crossover, it sounded like this. With it, it sounded like this. Okay, starting to come together. Nice, big reverb. But I still was missing a little bit of the overdrive, a little bit more nasty. Now, I don't know what Joe Perry did in the studio. Did he boost this with a pedal? I don't know. But what I did is I used the Deranged Master. And I took that and went up to a drive of four, but cranked the bass and treble to 10, okay? So without that, it sounded like this. With it, it's like this. I was really liking the way that sounded. Now all I did on the lead is bring in the delay like I showed you before, which set more for like a doubling effect. I believe I used the neck pickup in the other performance video. So I was really liking the sound of that as well. So, so like I was mentioning, what you're hearing in the other video is simply this with the real stems of the Walk This Way uh, uh, mix. So real drums, real bass from it, real vocals. And I just went in and, and added all the... You know, or... whatever was needed. So you'll hear all those parts and all the guitar parts on that are from this preset, this patch here. So really kind of cool stuff. I hope you guys like it. And again, like I said, this is not me claiming to match anything. It's more to get in the ballpark and I really hope somebody else appreciates it. The guitars are gonna make such a difference, right? A kind of a cool story is I was getting a little bit of a fret buzz on this. I needed to make a little adjustment to it. 
uh, right before I was going to do the video, so I grabbed my Yamaha or uh, Revstar 620 instead, and I did all the tracks. But I listened back, and I went, "Oh my goodness, it's like totally different. It was it darkened it up, the much darker pickups in that. So I lost some of that ratty high end. I actually went back. I just made the adjustment I needed on this, and I redid all the tracks because I was like, no, it wasn't the sound I was looking for. So every guitar is going to be different. You know, you can go in with the split crossover if you need a little more brightness, boost this up from five to seven maybe, or bring it down whatever you know so there's going to be those changes you can come into your amp controls bring the treble and presence down if, if need be or what have you right so so i'm going to put this uh, up on custom tone um and it'll be up there by the time this video uh, posts and i'm also going to have the other walk this way video watch both just so you can hear them in the mix that's that's the entire walk this way guitar parts recreated with the helix presets you hear here and hope you guys like that so so watch both videos if you don't mind it's short i did like maybe a half the song and then all the solos or something like that, just so you could kind of really get a good, good uh, uh, view into, into how it sounds in the mix with, uh, with the real uh, rhythm section and uh, Steven Tyler's vocals, so it's kind of cool. All right, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please like the video and share it if you don't mind. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Really appreciate the support, and I hope you guys enjoyed the videos, and I hope you enjoy the preset uh, when you grab it from Custom Tone. Uh, let me know how it works out for you, all right? Ciao for now. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll be back with some more content soon. Talk soon.